Hey everybody. Here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Got me a TFL Popeye. Got it all put together. Got me a one piece cable in there. Just by the props. Now, if you can't tell, I've already brought it to life. Look at the grease ring. <laughs> Anyways. That is not a waterproof servo so we'll see how long it lasts <laughs> oh well i use what i had at the moment i got it run through a san Juan radio system it's got a 180 c king it came with this little fella and i just wasn't happy with that so i know i never even ran it with it but be all right that is supposed to be a 4092 that came in my pursuit but i think little wang over there when he put it together he lied he said ha ha stupid around that he never know well guess what that 4092 is exactly the same length and size as that 4082 hmm I'm pretty sure the can's supposed to be longer. But guess what? It's not. So, I'm going to say that's a 4082. But everything lined up just right. I had to scoot the water jacket all the way back as far as it would go so it would clear the bottom. Had to put a new liner in it. Because the liner is about that much too short when you put the one piece cable in there. You got to make up for the void when you take out the two-piece cable setup. And of course, a four-cell I think just isn't satisfying enough for me. So that's a 7200 six-cell, which fits in there perfect. Of course, I'm gonna add some more foam. I got a little bit in there. I gotta add more foam to it. Spots, but. That baby's ready to hit the water. Can't wait to see what she's going to do. I'm going to start out with a 43. They send you a 38. But yeah, I don't think that 38 is going to do dick. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to bring it to life. You guys should see the running video. Maybe Sunday. It's nice. It's supposed to be nice here. Yeah, I can't wait. If you guys are wondering how I run my water lines, I run it into the bottom of the motor first. Out of the top of the motor, into the speed controller, back out of the speed controller, into the motor mount, back out the motor mount, and then back out the boat. I'm probably not going to run a dual line on this one. I'm probably not even going to change this. The diameter of the hole in that is just as big as this 8mm stuff. If you look at the two next to each other, the hole's just as big, if not bigger. So what's the point, right? Other than that, this stuff looks a little cooler. <laughs> Yay. But anyways, see y'all in the lake with it shortly. Bye now.